Hi guys, thank you so much for clicking the video and for today's vlog guys, uh, again, there are like, uh, I'd like to share to you like sure tips, okay, how to become a call center representative, okay. Uh, guys, I know that there are a lot of people, a lot of, you know, you guys are messaging me, sometimes you're telling me that, you know, maybe being a call center agent is not for me, uh, I will stop uh, now and I will not apply further. Guys, uh, I would like you to, you know, to, to stop for a while, okay? Um, I'm sure in the past, you already decided to become a call center representative. So, it means to say na you know that there are good benefits, right? Kung ikaw ay magiging call center agent, okay? So, honestly guys, hindi talaga to para sa inyo if you're a person wherein you, you know, you stop all of a sudden, yung hindi mo na kaya yung stress and pressure. Kasi kung application pa lang, guys, hindi mo na kaya yung pressure. What more if you're already working as a call center representative? Um, I'll be honest, guys, there will be stress. There will be pressure while you're working because it's a metric-based, uh, you know, uh, uh, type of job wherein all of your actions will be measured how you handle a call. Okay, so but before we go further, so focus muna tayo sa number one, okay? Uh, how to be hired uh, as a call center representative. Of course, number one is always uh, try to improve your uh, communication skills, okay? Um, that being said, try to focus guys on your conversational skills, okay? Uh, even naman yung mga Americans say you thought that, you know, they're using perfect uh, grammar all the time. Not really, okay? They're just, of course, since they're native speakers, so natural sa kanila yung magsalita ng English. And, but most of them, guys, they're only using, you know, conversational skills lang naman. Mga basic grammar lang. And also, mind you guys, they're also using basic verbs, basic predicates, okay? Na normal na sa ating ginagamit ng mga Pilipinos, okay? Like eating, like squatting, like researching. All of those are familiar na tayo. It's just that so happened that they can use them very fast, okay? Without thinking. Unlike Filipinos, sometimes we tend to think about it first before we mention the sentence, okay? So that's it. You have to really master how to speak the language, okay? Simultaneously uh, as much as you can, okay? How to do that? By watching movies, American movies to be exact, okay? Uh, try to focus on some of favorite mong English movies. Tignan mo if you can actually like you know uh, practice. Okay, for example, uh, may sinabing sentence na mahirap siyang parang tongue twist na mahirap ng sabihin. Try to practice practice them. Okay, mimic. Okay, right? Mimic the the person the you know the movie you know this that sentence that you're watching. Okay. And of course, uh, guys, um, yeah, uh, if there are words that you do not know that's new to you, list them down, okay? Uh, para at least next time, if you encounter those words, it will be easier for you, okay? And also, uh, focus on the 12 tenses, okay? Verb tenses. Um, medyo mahirap na yun, guys, but I think those are for advanced learners na, okay? Uh, focus ka lang muna dito sa mga... Uh, simple part which is your conversational skills okay how to say a fact how you know to say what you're doing right now uh, what will happen in the future yeah and jang kamuna focus okay all right so that's number one uh, improve your communication skills okay so for number two tips guys how to become a call center agent of course you have to apply okay so while you're learning right while you're practicing try to put to your schedule na mag apply na okay as i mentioned before in previous videos guys you have to pick the top three or top five um you know call center locations na malapit sa yo so that it's easier for you to go there okay um you have to do this case because you have to you know learn how to engage na okay 
iba pa rin, you know, uh, experience is the best teacher pa rin. If you're now, you know, uh, dealing with a, a real live interviewer, at least you will, you know, get to learn, um, you know, yung, yung dapat mong sabihin, yung, you know, at least malaman mo yung paano yung facial imp- uh, expression mo na mas maganda, ganun. And, of course, it will speed up your improvement. Okay? Trust me on that because you will learn firsthand it will speed up your improvement. Okay? And as much as you can, try to mimic or gayahin mo how, you know, the, the interviewer will speak. Okay? Malaman mo yan kung paano yung, yung grammar style niya, how, how he used the pronunciation. Is it a very fast or is it very slow? So as much as you can, try to mimic the interviewer. Okay? And of course, write down the questions for future use. So, since you know you're you're still trying out the application process, so try to write down or memorize kung ano yung mga questions sayo, so that at least next time you know how to answer them. Okay, uh, that's basically it. Uh, try to also uh, create your own scripts, na guys. Uh, uh, if ever, unfortunately, you guys has fa- have failed. Try to focus na sa mga scripted answers. Uh, you know, what seems to be more natural pag ikaw yung magsasalita. Okay? So, that's for number two. And by the way, I assure you guys, in the end, you will pass. Okay? If you keep doing these steps. So, let's go go to number three. Alright. So, for number three, guys, is you have to do your research. Okay? Um, about, you know, a certain company. Right? You have to know kung ano ba yung mga, uh, what's about that company. For example, you're planning to apply in Accenture or you're trying to apply in uh, Legato, right? Or i You have to know as much as you can. If you have friends there, that's cool. At least, you know, they could provide more insights how to pass it. Para at least malaman mo rin kung ano yung mga accounts, guys, na hinahandle ng certain company na yan. Okay? Para at least... You already know where to focus your energy, okay? How to answer. Uh, for example, they're more on um, credit cards. So as much as you can, if you have like history of dealing with accounts or you know bank financial um, financials, uh, at least you can use that, right? Or if let's say you're very familiar in using you know uh, online, <laughs> okay. Those are additional, guys. At least during the interview, you can pull them out. Okay, you can tell them, "Oh, I'm I'm very good in using GCash. I I know how to use the PayPal. I know how credit card works, right?" So the, those are just additional in your arsenal. Okay, um, yeah, that's it. And also, of course, try to research the best answers. Okay, and uh, that's basically it, guys. Okay, uh, if you have friends that nag apply na don, much better. All right. So that's for number three. Okay, and lastly, by the way, guys, um, this is just an additional tip. As I've mentioned before during my blogs, uh, try not to tell them about your plans, if ever you have plans to go abroad. Okay, abroad, studying, and you know, to just going back to study again, or let's say you're planning to uh, start. To work in a different field all right or in a different company rather so just try as much as you can focus on informing them that uh, this company is the best company for me and I'm planning to stay here for five long years <laughs> okay all right so that's basically it guys thank you so much again for watching the video please subscribe to my channel so my deeper subscribers John watch my other videos And thank you so very much. See you again in the next vlog. Bye for now.